It really is that season. When you wake up, you immediately check coin market cap. Now, the nature of ice. Hello, everyone. Hope you guys are having amazing day. XRP is around 64, 65 cents as we speak. Now, why did I say that in the beginning of the video, guys? It's because when I wake up from the middle of this, from my, from from the middle of my sleep, guys, I see in Bitcoin at like 37k. Now, when I check crypto prices, guys, I see it on Trading View. Right? I'm like, whoa, what just happened? So there's a lot of volatility occurring as as we can see guys literally right I think the reason why we're not going to have a substantial pullback guys it's because I, I realized something they don't want people to buy in low right so when so so people can FOMO in when it keeps going higher and higher and that drives prices to go higher and higher and higher right so, which is the retail folks which is the re retail guys so that's very interesting isn't it guys um perhaps that's what's happening but Look at this, guys. Solana is just skyrocketing as we speak. These altcoins are going ballistic, right? Wow, this is crazy. So things are looking quite well, aren't they? It is. XRP usually goes last, though, from what we have noticed as well. So not funny, Javice. Now, check this out. Tether Printer. They just printed another, well, it seems like 2 billion USDT, right? Um, This has been happening over the past days and whatnot, guys, right? So... Things are looking quite well. They need they they need to keep printing, guys. That's the thing, right? They need to just keep printing, and printing, and printing. Um, then we have here Justin SEC postpones decision on Grayscale's proposed Ethereum ETF rule change until January first, twenty twenty four, right? The good thing about all this is if they keep delaying, guys, that means the crypto prices are just going to keep rising. Right, because possibly if they go live, right, or if they if these ETFs do launch, guys, such as Bitcoin, Ethereum, and possibly even XRP later on, maybe in the, at the end of the bull run, that may mark the top, right? That may be a signal. So hopefully they um, delay it till like March or April, guys. But we'll have to just wait and see. But there is a lot of bullish developments happening within this space, guys. Justin Disney launches NFT platform. Wow, again, everything will be on. Will be run on the blockchain guys right it will be tied to the blockchain literally everything then we see here from jim kramer the oscillator got it right again the bears not so much a oh it seems like jim kramer is awfully bullish as we as we speak guys and there's a top call right because he says this right here game over so let's check this out 1-800-743-CBC tweet me at jim kramer Ladies and gentlemen, please put your trade tables up and your seat backs in their full upright positions. We're about to land the plane. We're landing on Wall Street. We hope you enjoy your ride on Pal Airlines. We do hope you will travel with us. Yep, Fed Chief Jay Pal has engineered the table soft landing. He's aimed outrageously high inflation without crashing the economy straight into the ground. They didn't even need the phone number. In fact, I. One eight hundred. So soft landing touchdown. Wow. Which means. There's going to be a black swan event, right? Usually, if if the opposite does occur, guys, there's going to be a black swan event randomly, suddenly one day, which is going to plummet the markets. Okay. So, and then you can see market rally bull. Hmm, interesting. We got to be open minded to every different different type of scenario, guys. Right? We just can't be attached to one thing. So anything can occur, but I'm still bullish as we speak, guys. Now, the nature of ice. Now, guys, you're telephone for XRP in the XRP community. Now, this is called quite interesting. So we have a lot of interesting Riddler connections in today's video, guys. I'm actually a little bit mind blown because look at this. Ripple Behavior Solutions. Triskelion logo, right? Sued on August 22nd, 2023. CEO is Jason. Sell now. Chief Executive Officer. The person who runs the company is literally called his name is Jason Sell Now, guys. Sell now. Whoa, 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 whoa. Sell now what though? Ripple Behavior Solutions, right? Ripple. Their name is literally Ripple, guys. And look at their logo as well, which ties into once again Ripple the company, right? The crypto company. That's and then not, not it gets even crazier because the time, the Baba Cook timeline got it correct again because look at this August twenty second, right? Filed. Sued guys. Right? It could have been any other number, but it was on the 22, 22nd, right? So fascinating. His name is literally called Cell now. It's wow. Well, 
Maybe it ties into if you have the imagination for moon but not for ashes gods, you are unbalanced as above so below, the micro and the macrocosm, right? As uh, meaning as as in so if you have if you believe XRP or cryptocurrencies will be mooning at one point in time, right? Spe I guess it ties into specifically XRP, but you don't have the imagination that we could dump and die, right, in a fire and everything crashes and burns, guys, you are unbalanced, right? So yeah, so we probably have to think about both, which means if that time does come, guys, it's going to be what? The ashes moments will be during the collapse, basically. Right. Who knows though? It's just speculation. But this is a this is an interesting observation. Why? Because as above, so below, guys. Right. Now, are they are they saying this stuff metaphorically with these damn volcanoes? The phoenix will rise from the ashes. This stuff is crazy. If that's what they are doing, guys. Right. Because there has been a lot of this type of activity re uh, happening recently. Because today I seen uh, I seen confirmed and accurate reports. Of volcan uh, volcanic activity in Iceland, Sweden, Japan, and now Mexico. Absolutely no effing way. These are all coincidences. Wow, guys. Right. So, so this is fascinating because remember the red alert speaking double meaning, right? When you read the alphabet, it's forward and backwards, right? Which means when they say something, it's metaphorical and literal, guys. Right. So when they talk about a phoenix. And everything has to what? Um, the phoenix will rise from the ashes of its own destruction, right? Or destruction in itself. That's what's literally going to happen as well, right? What are the odds? No November 17th. So we're going to be talking about the November 17th dates here soon, guys, okay? So check this out, though. The mainstream media is even calling it a countdown, government shutdown. It's the final countdown, government shutdown deadline, November 17th, okay? S but they just came out breaking, United States House passes bill to avoid government shutdown, Senate to vote next. Right? Of course, they're going to keep passing these bills, guys. Why? Let me explain my, my, my opinion on this matter, is that they have to time it perfectly, right? They have to time it perfectly. Timing is all that matters, guys. Because if they don't, it won't work out, right? So it will happen at one point in time, but it doesn't seem like just yet, guys. The same thing that's happening with the Federal Reserve kicking the can down the road towards that collapse moment. Yes, it's because they're going to time it per correctly or perfectly in my eyes, guys. Right? Not financial advice. These are just my beliefs, so to speak. From Mr. Blockett, Freedom Fridays 321. What do we have here from Elon Musk? W was just informed that approval to launch should happen in time for a Friday launch, right? Friday is when? November 17th, 1117, right? So we then see here, which is what? 777. Look at this, guys. It gets even crazier because 1118, we got a pi pirate flag, right? Skull and Bones. Pirates are David Schwartz, Freedom Fridays. Hmm. Isn't that strange, right? Not to mention, the storm is coming on Friday, right? 11-17-2019 from Mr. Poole. He tweeted this. Now, I, I don't think anything will happen this Friday, guys, or this 17th, because we still haven't seen not, no major events occur, right? But it's it's interesting that these red alerts have pointed towards um, November a lot. That's the interesting part, right, of which year I do not know of, but... They say it, storm is here. The rain will begin shortly. Water is getting colder here. Right? Notes, crash reversal reset. So we're going to see a crash. We're going to go pump back up again. And then there, then at that point, it's, it's going to be resetted. Um, there's going to be a reset. Judge, as in maybe regulations, guys. Gold will come back into the play. Transmitter, I'm not quite sure. Reveal to the world, maybe. Unstable, tested fast, no time. Right, so November 17th, 1858. What do we have here? Makes sense why everything is happening on the 17th, right? So so why did they pick November 17th, 1858 as a start date for the modified Julian date, right? So 
and it is 5 and 9 because 5, 8, and 1 plus 8 is 9, right? So you got 9, 5, 8, scramble, scramble apart, 5 and 9. Because that is when Julian Day calendar made the big turnover, guys. So, hmm, not to mention, November 17th is the 321st day of the year, right? Wait, what? Look at that right there. Can't make that stuff up. 322nd uh, in leap years, guys. Skull and bones, right? And as well as 321, which is BG123, right? Reverse variable guy. 321. Crazy. 589 going by the Babylonian calendar is starting to make more sense. If we look at the fifth month, uh, will be in July, August. The eighth month will be in October, November. Ninth month will be in November slash December, right? Maybe we are going by this calendar, guys. Hmm, a lot of interesting connections. Now, if you go back here, look at this. On that same day, guys, supposedly, <laughs> this is the craziest thing of my life. What are the odds November 17th, right? November 17th, 2023 is Hunger Games movie, Phoenix. Now, I'm not sure wh wh which movie this is, guys. Let's actually search it up. And here we go, guys. You can't make this stuff up. The Hunger Games. Songbirds and Snakes. Songbird, huh? Held its world premiere um, on November 5th. And it's scheduled to be released in North America on November 17th. Wow. So it's, it's this movie right here, guys. I'm trying to take a closer look at that symbol right there. Is that a phoenix? Or I guess it's a songbird and snakes, right? In a, in a circle, right? In a loop, so to speak. Hmm. Interesting, guys. In a circle, so to speak, as well. The phoenix, right? And it blasts up above through it. Well, I was going to talk about Big Short, guys, but there's so many different stuff to talk about. We're going to talk about Big Short here soon because he's been going crazy, right? Literally and metaphorically. From Mr. Pool, TikTok today, well, a long time ago on, in the year 2020, he posted this right here, a clock, and it's, uh, the timestamp is 11.15, as well as this right here, 11.15, right? Red, maybe three-day countdown, who knows? Now, for some odd reason, guys, David Schwartz came back because, look at this, if you stare into a mirror in a, in a dark room lit only by candles and say this code out loud three times, nobody will ever love you and your dog will die. What? Right. It's some kind of SEC filing for JP Morgan, guys. Mm. But over here, they say it's, uh, what is it? It is a code for mw3 supposedly right down here it's an invite lobby code supposedly so but i don't know it's interesting guys right now that found two potatoes comes from baba cooks just so everyone knows xrp shot up between 345 and 445 on november 14th right time is everything or whatever that happened or 13th guys so that is true right with the fake um etf news or trust Again, time is literally everything. Not funny, Joyce, and nothing at the same time. But anyways, that's what we have amazing. See ya.